happy Thursday, friends. It's Pastor Karen with a Thoughtful Thursday. I thought I might talk to you today from the church. Um, it feels so strange this Holy Week to not be looking to gather many times this week um, in this beautiful sanctuary. So I thought maybe I would just uh, give you a little glimpse. There it is. Yeah. Um, of this beautiful space. Um, but it's Thursday of Holy Week. Um, we spend um, time on this day usually talking about two different things, right? The, the All of the events that happened on the Last Supper or during the Last Supper. Um, if you're a member of Lima or if you've been watching the Lima online worship, you know that we have been studying the Gospel of Mark for the last, um, well, through the whole season of Lent. Um, and so it's so interesting that the Gospel of Mark really has two purposes. The first to, um, to shine a light on Jesus, even though he doesn't want to shine a light on himself, um, showing that Jesus is truly um, the Son of God, is able to heal people and perform miracles, um, all of these things. And then Mark kind of makes a shift in the middle of his Gospel. And in the second half of his Gospel, he really wants to tell the readers um, through the stories of Jesus that Jesus calls us to be servants, right? Just, um, calls us to to serve others. And um, so it's so interesting that on this um, Holy Thursday, on this Monday Thursday, um, we typically get together and we typically remember um, the story of the Last Supper. But interesting that, like any other stories or any other kind of celebrations that we have in the church, we don't get the whole story from any of the gospel writers. <laughs> in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, we hear the story of the Last Supper, or the what we now call Holy Communion, right? We hear those words when um, Jesus was at the table with his disciples. He took bread, he gave thanks, he gave it to those who were with him said, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And then Jesus says, um, take this cup. I give thanks to God and I give it to all of you because this is the cup of the new covenant shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, remember me. We talk a lot on Monday, Thursday about what does that mean? <laughs> Jesus gave us this holy meal, this opportunity to be in the presence of God as we partake of this meal that we now call Holy Communion or the Eucharist. Um, it's like Jesus was saying, this is the divine part of me. I'm going to give you something to connect to the divine, to connect to this power, to connect to, to God and, and to, to myself as Jesus and to the Holy Spirit that every time you share this meal that these memories of what I have said should come rushing back, but also should this mysterious power, this mystery of grace come rushing back because of my divinity. And you would think then that Mark would also switch because he has such an emphasis on service and he would tell us the other story that we usually tell on Monday, Thursday, and that is Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. But we don't read that story in Mark. We have to go to the Gospel of John to read that story. So interestingly, John does not um, talk about the meal. He doesn't talk about the breaking of the bread and, and, the, and the drinking of the cup at that meal. He talks about the fact that Jesus washed the feet of his disciples at that meal. And remember the story, Peter says, you can't wash my feet. No way, Jesus, can you do this. I will not let you stoop to that level and wash my feet. Because as you know, or may know, that washing someone's feet was really probably about the lowest job that you could have gotten um, as a servant or as a slave even. It's like they might have um, picked straws in the back room and the short straw got to be the one that washed the feet, the dirt off the dusty roads. And yet Jesus wrapped the towel around his own waist, filled the basin with water, carried the basin to the feet of his disciples' feet, and chose to wash their feet. Chose to lower himself to that humble servant. And so it is on this day where we see both 
sides, right? Different sides. There's many sides of Jesus, different sides of Jesus. This, this divinity side where he's giving us this, now our sacrament of Holy Communion. And yet he's also showing us how that we are to live our lives, not just connected to God and Jesus, but connected to each other. How we're, how we're supposed to serve each other, how we're supposed to, to humble ourselves, to, to find ourselves lower than someone else so that we can serve um, authentically, so that we can serve truthfully, so that we can serve organically. And so um, today, that's what we celebrate. We celebrate these both of these most incredible gifts that Jesus gave us in that same night this gift of this divine meal, this gift that reminds us of Jesus's connection and our connection to God through Jesus. So how we're supposed to live this um, vertical part of the cross, right? But also how we're supposed to live this horizontal part of the cross as we serve each other. So I hope that today that you can sit with these words a little bit that you can be grateful for the gifts of Jesus on this Monday Thursday, and that you can celebrate your connectedness to God through Jesus, but that you can also look for ways to serve your neighbor. I hope you have a great rest of your Holy Week and a happy Resurrection Sunday, because my friends, tomorrow is Friday, but Sunday is coming. It sure is. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.